Have you ever used this great stuff spray foam? You only used a little bit, you store it for a few days, a few weeks, and you come back to reuse it and it turns out to be clogged. Well, stay tuned. I got some tips and tricks for you to bring these back to life so you can reuse it and not throw it away. So stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So if you're like me, I use Great Stuff Spray Foam a lot, including this one inch, and there's also a version that expands up to three inches, and there's many other various brands out there similar to this one, but I end up using sometimes only a little bit. I store it for a few days or a few weeks. When I come back to reuse it, it's always clogged up. I can't reuse it anymore and I just end up throwing it away. So I know these aren't super expensive. They're about $5 a can. What if I can show you some few tips to save these so that you don't end up throwing or wasting any of this away. So let me show you with tip number one. Let's get to it. Now before you try any of these tips, look underneath the can and check for the expiration date. Now I know you can get away if you're past the expiration date on some of these, but if you're way, way past the expiration date, sometimes these things are not going to work anymore stuff will do come out but it's not going to be as effective or it's not going to turn out as if it was brand new so take that to account if you look at this can there is a little bit of foam coming out of this if you tear the top it's still going to be end up clogged there is more foam right underneath take a screw for example it's a drywall screw kind of screw it like this you'll start hearing a little bit of popping noise and whatnot and then if you go and pull it out, you'll end up taking out that mass that's stuck inside, just like that. And if you look inside, that should be nice and clear. Now, if you worked with spray foam before, you already know how messy it gets and it's how hard it is to get off your hands. So I'm gonna be using some gloves for this one. There you go. It's working nice and okay again. So when you take out the nozzle, you can leave it like this, let it form and do the screw method again, or you can take a match stick and put it right on top and squeeze it like that. Just make sure you break off the top just so that you don't end up sparking this because this is way flammable. Once that hardens and you take that out, that mass will cling into this match stick and it will clear it out. But if you don't want to do that, leave a little bit of foam right there, take it out and then just reuse your drywall screw. Do the same thing and it should clear out just fine. So now you have all that foam stuck in this tube. To better amplify the demonstration that I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna to fill up a bunch of these bigger size straws like what you see here so that you can, we can better see the effects of these solutions. Pardon my son, he's right there, sorry. <laughs> but both sides, so there you go. filled up three of these straws to demonstrate a bigger version of this straw right here. Now you can leave a little bit at the tip right here, let it dry out so that it acts as a cap. But there's also a second method that there's a stopper at the end of this. But the many years that I've used this foam stuff, not this is not guaranteed. This foam inside the straw still hardens up at times and this can becomes pretty much useless or it gets clogged right at the tip of this nozzle. This is just an example where the foam, it hardened up inside the straw. So how do you end up clearing something like this if the foam hardens inside the straw? So for this tip, I'm gonna be using Goof Off. It's a remover for dried latex paint. There's for adhesive and glue and asphalt and tar. So we'll consider this as adhesive or glue. Now for safety purposes, please use latex gloves and wear safety glasses. And we're gonna just start pouring some of this goof off right on the top and watch it dissolve right through here. And you should immediately see it start cutting through. Now if you squeeze it and work it on there, it melts that foam and turns it into some sort of mushy, just like that, just let it saturate. So let that sit for a little bit. With this goof off, you can also pour a little bit right inside the tip of this can and it should melt right through. You can take your screw again and once you pour that, let it sit for a little bit and you can use this to clean it out back and forth like that. So now it's only been five minutes since we used this goof off on this straw. Nice and mushy already in there and the goof off actually went through that straw and ate away and loosened up that gunk inside. 
So now what you can do, this is pretty cool and very satisfying as well. Make sure you wear gloves when you do this. If you go and try to snag that and look how easily you can take out that clog. Just like that. Wow. Look how clear that straw now. And this is what that foam is on the inside. You should be able to use this straw once again, just like new and you're back in business. We're gonna take another clogged up straw. And it actually says on the back of this great stuff to for any tackiness or whatnot removed, you should use some acetone. So the only acetone that I could find around the house is my wife's nail polish remover. And then we're gonna let this sit right on top. Again, we're gonna let it sit for five minutes just like we did the goof off and see the results. I know these straws is a little bit stiffer than this one, but if you can just apply some, you can still squeeze it by just using hand pressure. It's now been five minutes of using the acetone. Let's go and check out if we can pull this out just like we did with the goof off. So let's go see if we can take this. And there you have it friends, the acetone does work just like the goof off did. And now be mindful, these are very flammable. Okay, so just use proper precautions and use your PPE. So friends, just letting you know that if you need some goof off or any type of acetone, I'll leave the links on the description down below for this goof off and for this type of similar type of this acetone. Check those links out if you need one of these. So other uses for goof off and acetone is if you get some of this great stuff on your tools, I know how tacky these things get and very hard to remove right when it dries out and take some of this and just put it right on top like so each side let it sit for a few minutes and it should eat away all that gunk right there when you're using goof off or acetone please use it on a well ventilated area now that your tool have set for a few minutes take your paper towel and you can just wipe off that gunk right off notice how it just came off just like that well, lastly my last tip for you is what if for for some reason you can't clear the straw the straw is completely unusable and you just need to replace this whole thing well don't fret friends because great stuff actually makes their own nozzle so this is actually their own gun on the back of this gun there is an adjuster knob turning it left increases the amount depending on how much bead or how thick of a bead that you want this increases the bead size this decreases the bead size. I don't have the version for this, the foam itself, but I do have the Pro Cleaner, the great stuff that actually you use to clean this after use. So again, I'm not sponsored by great stuff. I bought this all with my own money to show you on this video. The regular great stuff with the straw applicator has just this tip, but the great stuff foam has this specialized cap right here. I'm gonna invert it and just twist it right on top. And you'll hear it charge. You'll hear that sound where it just, just started to charge like that. So once that all that great stuff foam is cleared out from the system, take this out, just unscrew it. So you don't have any blowback, just like that. And there should be some air in this gun still. And then just squeeze the rest of that pressurized air out of there. This is the great stuff foam cleaner, but there are other great stuff foam products that has these nozzles for whatever application you need. Check these out right here. If you're just doing this just for a regular day of wire and you're not using this a lot, I suggest you just go with the regular stuff right here. But if you're using this quite often, I would get the Pro Series version so that you can get this nice applicator gun with it. Okay, this is made by Great Stuff. There's other products similar to like this, but I only trust the ones that are compatible with the Great Stuff version. Okay, friends, so if you're interested on any tools that I use in this video, check out the link on the description down below. So there you have it friends, those are my tips and tricks on how you can clear up this great stuff foam and you'll be able to save you a bunch of money in the long run because you'll be able to reuse some of this because I know like me, I don't use this quite often. I just use a little bit, store it away and when I come back, it ends up being clogged. So hopefully these tips and tricks will help you out. If you have other tips and tricks that I didn't mention in this video, please leave it in the comment section down below and share it with the community. I'll be gladly to do another video on the follow-up on your suggestions as well. So let me also know in the comment section down below which method you use. So if you did find big value in this video, friends, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.